going to show you how to make this clutch purse. This is the little button and it opens up. Okay, um, to start off, I'm using an eye hook and Karen Soft pink yarn. You can use whatever yarn you prefer. Cast onto your hook. Start off with a chain 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26. Single crochet in the third chain from the hook. One, two, three, single crochet. And then single crochet in each stitch across. So we have two here, three, single crochet, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and your little strip here. <clears throat> then you're going to chain one and work a single crochet across, and you'll be a 24 count again. And you can do this up to 30 rounds or for um, or 30 rows and um, or up to the desired length of your purse that you would like. So you have this strip here and you're going to turn your work, chain one, and work a single crochet across. And you'll do this for 30 rows. And so <clears throat> once you get to 30 rows, you're going to fold it over and you'll slip stitch your sides together. And then you're going to make a flap. I'm going to show you next how to make this flap. So. Once you have your 30 rounds, your 30 rows, then you're going to make a flap. So we'll start um, on row 31 to show you how to do the flap, which is a chain three, one, two, three. The instructions are listed down below and at my site crochetjewel.com as well. 
this chain three counts as your first double crochet. Then you <clears throat> double crochet in this next single crochet. Then you skip one, two single crochet. And then you work two double crochet in this next stitch. So you work one, two, and then you're going to skip two, one, two, and work a two double crochet here. One, two. <clears throat> Then you're going to chain one and work two double crochet again in the same stitch. One, two. So you have one, two, skip two, two double crochet, skip two, and then you have this V stitch which is two double crochet, a chain one, two double crochet. Then you're going to skip two again and you're going to repeat this for another three times, which was is really four times, including this one. So create a V stitch here, two double crochet, one, two, chain one, two double crochet in that same stitch, one, two. Skip two, one, two, create a V stitch here again, two double crochet, one, two, chain one, two double crochet, one, so we have three so far. We're going to skip two, one, two, create a V stitch, one, two, and then chain two, one, two, create two more double crochet, one, two, Skip two double single crochet, one, two, work two double crochet, one, two, skip two single crochet, work a double crochet here. And then work another double crochet in the last. So it should look like this. So we have one, two, two double crochet, a V stitch, V stitch, V stitch, V stitch, two double crochet, two double crochet in the last two. Turn your work. Chain three, one, two, three counts as a double crochet here. Double crochet in the next double crochet here. And then you have two double crochet work, two double crochet in the middle of these two previous double crochet. So one, and then work another one here, two. <clears throat> and then work two double crochet, a chain one and two double crochet in this chain one space. So you have one double crochet, two, then you have a chain one, and then two more in this chain one space, two double crochet, one, two,
and then work a v-stitch in this chain one again so two double crochet one two chain one one two a v-stitch in this chain one again one two chain one two double crochet one two v-stitch again in this chain one you've done it four times so you have it one v-stitch two v-stitch three v-stitch another v-stitch here two double crochet chain one double crochet another double crochet and then in this double crochet here work a uh, two double crochet in the center of these two double crochet so one in the center two and then work a double crochet on top of these two so one and then on this last chain three work a double crochet And so you've started your your shell across for the flat and you'll repeat this that was round 32 and you'll repeat this to 30 round row 35 four times then you take that section and in the center you'll have this you can um, open it up a little bit more to go around this button here so you have it for round 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 just keep repeating it across and then I'll show you how to make the button so just repeat that three more times and that will create the flap and then for the button you'll use an e-hook I'm looking for an ebook. Alright, I found an ebook. Alright, so then um, you'll use an e hook for the button. So for the button, you'll chain two, one, One, two, <clears throat> and then you'll work five single crochet in this um, second chain from the hook. So one, two, work five, one. Two, three, four, five, and then you'll slip stitch to join. And then you'll work two single crochet in each stitch around. 
So we have one, two, And then two in the next, one, two, and then two in the next, one, two, And two in the next. One, two, two in the next. One, two, and that will give you ten around. And just as a marker, I'm gonna. Kind of keep track of my rounds here. Or we could just count. Let's just count. It'll be easier. But you can always use a marker. So let's count one. Um, we need a single crochet a, um, in each stitch around. So we have one. Oh, after this one, we need a slip stitch. Sorry. So slip stitch. And then we can work ten around. One. Two, three, so this was three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then slip stitch to join. And it's going to start taking a shape of the button. Now you're going to two single crochet together five times. So we have one single crochet. And then in the second stitch, work another single crochet by leaving these two loops on the hook. We have three loops on the hook and then single crochet all together. This is a decrease. That's your first one. Now we're on the second one, decrease one, and then the second stitch will make one single crochet. You're on your second one, decrease. And now we're on our third, decrease, single crochet, two together, our third one. And now we're on our fourth one. Two together, decrease, two single crochet together, and now we're on our fifth one, <laughs> and 
<clears throat> okay, and now we're going to single crochet in the next five, and then you'll be and then you'll be done with the button. So we have one single crochet. So we have one. four, five. Okay, now you can take this and get your scissors out and fasten off and this created your button and you come over to your purse and then attach the button right in the right towards the bottom in the center and then flip this over and then you'll have your button now that is how you make the clutch purse and all instructions are listed down below thank you for watching please subscribe